Welcome to the 1010XL 2018 Video Draft Special. I'm Donna Murphy. We sat down with each of our 1010XL hosts and had them grade out the available players the Jaguars might consider taking with the 29th pick. We tabulated the results and created a series of short videos highlighting 1010XL's top five choices. Here is our number one pick. Lamar Jackson, quarterback out of Louisville. Why would I want him to come to Jacksonville? Well, why wouldn't I want him to come to Jacksonville? Have you watched college football over the last couple of years? He's been the most dynamic performer, a Heisman Trophy winner. Now, is he the perfect fit for the Jags? Hey, look, my job's not on the line if they take Lamar Jackson and he doesn't pan out, right? So in terms of guys I'd like to see in Jacksonville, I don't think anybody would move the needle as much as Lamar Jackson. What it would create, however, is a bad dynamic with Blake Bortles as your starting quarterback with a first round pick kind of breathing down his neck. You're going to have to commit to his playing style. You're going to have to let him run the ball and not be afraid of that contact at the next level. But I think he's got the skill set to be able to survive. Now listen, you say a backup quarterback in the first round? Well, number one, I think Jackson has some unbelievable potential. And I know he wants to be a quarterback. But what would be wrong with drafting Jackson, you know, tutoring him to be a quarterback, but also letting him do some things, maybe return some kicks? He's too good an athlete to ignore. If Lamar Jackson of Louisville is available, you draft him, Jaguars. I, I think he's going to be a dynamic player and a fun guy to have around. Guys that are unconventional typically haven't made it in the league as quarterbacks. Think about it. Tebow, unconventional. Manziel, unconventional. Kaepernick, unconventional. The league wants conventional drop-back quarterbacks. It's great if they're athletic as well, but they want conventional drop-back quarterbacks. That's not what Lamar is. You want to drop back. You have to read defense. You have to go through progressions, and you have to throw accurately. That's what matters in the NFL. So I love Lamar Jackson as a player. It'd be fun as heck if he winds up here, wherever he winds up. But I'm not sure I see him as a fit, and I'd be very surprised if the Jaguars pursue Lamar Jackson in the draft. But if he is there, would he make sense for the Jaguars? Absolutely, Lamar Jackson would make sense for this team. But you look at his ability to pass, he's got a strong arm, mechanically very sound. And I think when you look at Lamar Jackson and you project him forward, he does do some things that are a little concerning but can be fixed. We've seen Blake Bortles work every offseason on his fundamentals. It's something quarterbacks really do all throughout the league. This is a potential dynamic player. However, I do not think he is necessarily a fit here in Jacksonville based on where they are as a franchise and based on what they've always seemed to do, which is get bigger, more complete, uh, six foot five, 230 pound quarterbacks. While I love Lamar Jackson and his potential, I don't think Lamar Jackson and his situation fits for the Jacksonville Jaguars. It really doesn't help either with the unorthodox way that he's being represented. I don't, I don't think Tom Coughlin and Dave Caldwell see that as a real good fit for Jacksonville. And it sure seems like Lamar Jackson is a riser at this stage of the process. So even if you are in favor of the Jaguars taking a quarterback, then perhaps Lamar Jackson isn't gonna be there. And the Jaguars continuing to work out veteran quarterbacks and Blake Bortles under contract, it doesn't seem a complete necessity that they draft quarterback. But if they do, I think most of us kind of hope that Lamar Jackson falls to that point. I love the guy. I mean, the guy's so exciting to watch. He uh, is dynamic with the football in his hands, moving in space. He can shed tacklers. He can juke guys extremely fast. But can he throw the football? And is Jacksonville in a position to where they want to reach for a quarterback in the first round to maybe find the future of this football team if Blake Bortles doesn't go past a couple of years? I don't think you should use the first pick of your football team in the draft on a quarterback. He's great running the football. He's not as accurate passing the football. To me, the Jaguars already have a quarterback that isn't exactly accurate. So if they're going to draft a quarterback in the first round in the 2018 draft, that guy needs to be extremely accurate. That needs to be the number one thing about that quarterback. And for me, Lamar Jackson, I saw him in person at the Tax Slayer Bowl this year against Mississippi State. He threw four interceptions and he missed a lot of other throws. To me, I know he's worked on his pocket passing, but it's just not exactly where I think it needs to be. I understand Dave Caldwell's thinking. He buys into Blake Bortles. He gave him a contract extension. He drafted him. You don't want to bring someone else in like Jackson to apply that pressure, have Blake looking over his back. I get that. I'd like to see Lamar Jackson. However, the Jaguars are not going to make that move. They're going to go out and get a football player who can help this team right now. 
Lamar Jackson, quarterback coming out of Louisville, probably the top of a lot of people's lists as far as a wish list for this Jaguars team. If they picked the quarterback in the first round, I'd be stunned. But it would be a whole heck of a lot of fun to see Lamar Jackson. I'm not completely sold on Blake Bortles as the future franchise quarterback in Jacksonville. I don't have to be. It feels like the Jaguars are leaning in that direction, which is why it makes it even less likely that a quarterback, even one as talented as Lamar Jackson, would be the pick for the Jags.